Good day, everyone. Welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. We are proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. These programs are recorded and are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. Today, we have had Texas Winds with Buddy Bray at 1030. We had Fit Wits with Emily at 1130. And now we have Jeopardy with Martha. These are our sponsors for our programs. And I am thrilled to be bringing you Jeopardy today. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. Uh, now I need to share my screen again, I'm sure, so that you can see this. Is that right? Do you mm -hmm. see? Uh, yes, I think. Uh, Phil, do you see it? She says, Phil, do you see it? Yes. Okay, we're going to have two teams. Oh, here comes Steve. Oh, yay. Well, then I don't, I don't have to play. That's wonderful. We'll put Steve in here. Hi, Steve. Hey, sorry. I was eating lunch and I got. That's okay. Got all about it. We just now started the game. Yeah. Just now started the game. So you haven't missed anything. You have not. Okay. You need to go back and get three teams up, right? No, I'm not going to play now that Steve's here. Oh, she's not going to play now that Steve is here. So I'm team what? What? Uh, Steve, you're team two. Okay. Phil and Paulette are team one. All right. Our topics are birds, fish, elephants, insects, or primates. And All right. Well, you need to zero out the scores, right? You know, that's true. <laughs> <need this>. <laughs> okay. I don't know where that went. Usually it starts out with zero. Weird. Okay. I don't Not know. minus. Ugh. Uh. Hang in there. Uh, it's not giving me much of a... An, oh, there we go. <laughs> this is so close to the edge. Every time I go down to make a minus... My hand shakes. There we go. Okay, everybody's at zero. Uh, Phil, you're first. Uh, bird, I said birds at 500. Birds at 500 for team one, Phil and Paulette. Correct. Thrushes find their food this way, by <laughs> farting or by digging in the dirt, Phil and Paulette. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say digging in the dirt. but. <laughs> <laughs> If it turns out to be farting, I think I'll just give it up. <laughs> what is farting? <laughs> it encourages the birds to move. move. <laughs> oh, how funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. It is. I loved that question. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Steve, where would you like to go? Let's do elephants for 500. Elephants for 500. Elephants eat a lot. Their diet is omnivore or vegetarian, team two, Steve. I'm going to say omnivore. What is vegetarian? Oh, sorry. Ooh, okay. Well, at least we're all even, right? That's the wrong answer. <laughs> team one, Phil and Paulette, where would you like to go? Let's go to primates and, and for 500, and let's hope I don't continue this streak of not knowing. <laughs> Well, it's, it's not that you don't know. I just did a real weird question. Jane Goodall made the discovery about the diet of chimps. They use tools to obtain food or they are vegetarian, which is the correct answer. I, I know this one. They use tools to obtain food. Yes, they do. Team one. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> you knew the answer. <laughs> That's right. Okie dokie, Steve, where would you like to go? Let's go to fish then for 500. Fish for 500, team two. If I get Fish sleep with their eyes open. True or false? That's true. What is true? They have no eyelids. 
team two gets the I point. know that. Yes, the point. <laughs> Congratulations. Okie dokie, team one, Bill and Paulette. I guess I'll take insects for 500. Insects for 500, team one. Honeybees convert nectar into honey in the hive by doing this. They ignore the nectar until it ages, or they fan their wings to evaporate the water. Which is it, team one? Hmm, that's another wild guess. Okay. But I'm going to guess they fan their wings to evaporate water. Yes, yep. sir, they do. Team one. Oh, yay. You got the answer, Philip. Well, that's great. <laughs> Woohoo! I know. Steve, team two, where would you like to go? Well, let's go to elephants again. Elephants? You want 400. 400. Okie dokie. Uh, team two, elephants for 400. Baby elephants are treasured. Their gestation is 22 months. They nurse for how long? Four years or two years, team two? Four, four years. Four years? What is four years? Team two gets points. Answer. Oh my wow. <laughs> yeah. Team one, where would you like to go, Phil and Paulette? Uh, let, let, let's go primates for 400. Primates for 400, team one. Mm -hmm. Baboons practice grooming of other baboons. This is called either preening or aloe grooming, team one. Oh, you got an answer, Paula? I do not. I'm going to go with aloe grooming. What is aloe grooming, team one? Hot, you are yeah, hot. Yeah, you Phil. got the answer, Philip. Yes, you do. Team two, Steve, where would you like to go? Let's go fish, 400. Fish for 400, team two. Fish absorb oxygen and excrete CO2 with these. Lungs or gills, team two? Gills. What are gills? Gills even work when fish sleep. <laughs> team two gets points. Interesting. Okie dokie, Paulette and Phil. Where would you like to go, team one? Insects for four. Insects for 400. These were the first insects to be sent into space. Were they ants or fruit flies, team one? I'm pretty sure I know this too. I think it's fruit flies. What are fruit flies, team one? You get points. Oh my goodness, Phil. Good you for you. on a roll, Phil. I know, he is. Okay, Steve, we got to catch up now. Birds, Steve, 400. For 400, team two. Ducks nap in groups for safety. This way, either they take turns napping or they keep one eye open. Which is that, Steve? They keep one eye open. Yes, they do. Team two gets points. Awesome <laughs> blossom. Okay, team one, Phil and Paulette, where would you like to go? I'll go back to primates again for 300. Primates for 300. Baby orangutans stay close to mom until they are this old. Seven years or 10 years, team one? Well, this is what we used to call a wag. <laughs> is that a wild ass guess? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> wild ass guess? I'm, wild I'm gonna say seven years. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is seven years? Phil, you are hot today. He is hot. <laughs> my, my guessing, Ratio is a lot better than it was the last time we played this game. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes in waves, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Steve, team two, where would you like to go? Let's go to fish, 300. Fish for 300, team two. Double jeopardy. Okie dokie. Wow. The anemone poison kills all fish except this. Is it starfish or clownfish, team two? I believe starfish. What is clownfish? Oh, clownfish. Oh. Okay, well, hey. Wrong answer. They live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey. Yes, oh, that's a <laughs> Nemo, isn't it? Nemo was a clownfish. Yeah. Okay, Phil and Paulette, team one, where would you like to go? Uh, let's try elephants for 300. Elephants for 300, team one. Elephant memory is legendary. This gender carries this history and teaches the young. 
Is it males or females that carry the history and teach the young? Team one. Well, since, since our moderator is a long-term feminist, I would probably be remiss if I didn't say females. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to say females. Did you see my article in the paper today? No. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. What are females? They stay intergenerationally, so grandmothers do it too, while, many, while men run off at age 20. Team one gets points for that. I had a letter in the uh, uh, newspaper today, uh, yesterday, Paulette. Okay. It was about feminism, and I'm glad Phil saw it. <laughs> Steve, team two, where would you like to go? Birds for 300. Birds for 300, team two. Cardinals like to cover themselves in ants for this purpose. <laughs> Yuck. Does it clean their feathers or does it get rid of lice, team two? Get rid of lice. What gets rid of lice? Team two gets oh my word. I right. love it. Okie dokie, team one, Phil and Paulette. Let's go to insects for 300. Insects for 300. Butterflies have taste receptors here. Is it on their antennae or on their feet, team one? Mm -hmm. Let me think about this. Yeah, you need to think for a minute. That's okay. That's what Andrew's not I, coming. I'm going to say on their feet because they're always landing on the flowers feet wise. Let's see. What is on their feet? Oh, you it's got it hot. right. You are hot today. I swear. Yeah, he is. He is. Steve, team two, where would you like to go? Let's do elephants for 200. Elephants for 200. Elephant ears flap to keep them cool. Ears grow up to this long. Is it three feet or five feet? Five feet. Team two? Five feet. What is five feet? Capillaries in the ears help to cool the blood when flapped. Team oh. two gets points. Uh, uh, Steve, help me out with this. Isn't there a difference between African elephants and Indian elephants? Yes, there and, is. And the Indians having smaller ears than the Africans? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're a smaller animal in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, live and learn. You just Good talked to us. Yeah. Oh, team uh, one, where would you like to go? We're going to select, I guess, primates for 200. Primates for 200, team mm -hmm. one. Gorillas live in groups or packs called this. Is it herds? Or harems, team one. Gorillas. Uh, I'm going to say <laughs> again. This is a wag. Let's see what my rationale is. All right. And I forgot. I don't remember seeing all female groups of of gorillas. So I'm going to say herds. Oh, let's see. Uh -huh. What are hairs? Yeah. Talked myself right out of it, didn't I? Oh, Good my try, Lord. though. Good try. That's what we're about is thinking. <laughs> Yoki, team two, Steve, what is your choice? Fish for 200. Fish for 200, team two. Salmon must have fresh water to live. True or false, team two? It is true. It is false. False. Whoa. Whoa. Well, okay. Now, now let's see. I could be wrong. They are born in fresh water. They migrate to salt water and then they return to fresh water to spawn. So they don't have to have fresh water because they go to salt water. Well, Am okay. I wrong on that? You tell me. Well, I guess they go to salt water, but they have to have fresh water. We'll give you the points on that one. Team, we'll, we'll give you the points on team two. Oh, okay. That's a bad question, and I apologize for that. Team one, Phil and Paulette, where would you like to go? Uh, insects for two. Insects for 200. Double jeopardy. Ooh. Mosquitoes have no purpose, true or false? I have never actually talked to a mosquito about what its purpose was. <laughs> really? Or his philosophy, for that matter. <laughs> Good. 
fulfill no purpose. <laughs> I, I think that's false. What is false? They are a food source for several birds. And that's Double Jeopardy, Team 1, Double Click. Yay! Okay. Steve, Team 2, what is your choice? Birds. Birds. Yeah. 200, okie dokie, Team 2. Birds have evolved from bees. Are they from ancient fish or T-Rex raptors, Team 2? I believe ancient fish. What are T-Rex raptors? That's all right. That's all right. We're here to learn, aren't we? Yeah. Lord have mercy. Okie dokie, team one. Phil and Paulette, where would you like to go? Uh, let's go primates for 100. Primates for 100. Adult male apes are stronger than man by this much. Double or six times, team one? Six times. What is six times? Phil and Paulette, you are knocking it out of the park today. I know Philip is. <laughs> it was a d okay. Never mind. What? 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 Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Never, never, never. Steve, team two, where would you like to go? Uh, we'll go birds for a hundred. Birds for a hundred. This bird lays the largest egg. Is it eagle or ostrich? Team two. Ostrich. What is ostrich? Team two gets the points. Yes, sir. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Team one. Phil and Paulette, where would you like to go? Elephants for 100. Elephants for 100. African elephants can live to this age. Is it 35 years or 70 years, team one? 70. What is 70 yep. years? Woo, team one, yep. you are just Done. climbing all over this today. I know. Steve. No fish. <laughs> Steve, last shot. Fish or insects? We'll do fish. We'll do fish. Team two. Tuna can swim this fast. 28 miles per hour or 43 miles per hour. Team two. I'm going to go 43. Let's go with 43. Yes, 43 is correct. And team two gets points. That's hot. And gee, Phil and Paulette, where would you like to go? I guess I'll go to insects. <laughs> insects for 100. Insects first appeared on Earth this long ago. 400 million years or 50 million years, team one? 400 million years. What is 400 million years? A lucky duck today. Woo. I want y'all to look at that. You both had really good points. <laughs> which means you got more right than you didn't. Team two is 2,600. Team one is 3,400. And just think if we play this one again in the next couple of months, you will remember. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it's been a while since we played that last time. That was hot. Yep. That was hot. Congratulations. Good. Yes. Ah, oh, let's take a look at what's coming up. Oh, let's do. Let's do. Uh, where did it go? <laughs> it went away. <laughs> okay, Martha's not doing right. I have to. I have to start over. Oh my goodness! Yeah, no, there's not a problem. Come on. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Okie dokie. Share screen. Are y'all seeing purple? Yes. yes. Yep. Okie dokie. Let's see. We will roll, roll past that, roll past that. Okay. okay. Monday the 31st at 1030 and 1130, Emily Corbin is doing Moving to Heal. At 1.30, oh boy, Texas wins his back at our hour, 1.30, with Tony Palos Piano. We're getting pretty active with this bunch, aren't we? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Are y'all having fun with having a choice? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, yeah I've got a couple of doctor's appointments next uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh-huh. You know, uh, having the afternoon gives me an opportunity to at least... Uh, drop in if I'm done with all the other stuff in the morning. 
Well, good. I'll make a note on my Monday sheet. Yeah. I, I was going to make a comment to you that maybe pass on to Gail. I don't know whether you think this is valuable or not. I will take but, any suggestions. But when I went back to the to the email to log into this uh, session this afternoon, mm -hmm. I rolled down on it, and there's no link there by this. And I had to say, okay, uh, is it the same link as in the morning? And and then I rolled back up to the morning and. and clicked in, but uh, somebody might get confused by that and not, uh, you know. Well, thank you. We should have it there. I will tell Gail and we will double check it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's a very valuable suggestion. Yeah. Hot diggity. Yeah. Steve, Hot diggity. Steve, I have enjoyed seeing you at all three programs today. Thank, thank you, you for joining. What did yeah. you think of our, our visitor from the community? I... I uh, I think I have met him someplace before. Ah. But I couldn't tell you exactly where. But once I saw him, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to say I've met you before because I couldn't remember, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but I do seem to remember him from someplace. Oh, that's great. Good, good. Uh, Phil and Paulette, he was a fellow named James Turner, and he works at Greenbrier Community Center, and he's uh, trying to incorporate us with part of what they do. Oh, he's thank you. For some tips. Letting us know that, yeah. You just never know who you're going to run into. Oh, no, that's true. That's awesome. Well, I hope y'all have a great weekend. I The only reason I'm getting off the, the now is that I have a shrink appointment in four minutes on Zoom. <laughs> Oh my word. I, I hope you I hope you don't shrink down to nothing. Oh, I would love to. I'd love to eat my way up to a good body. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. You understand. Never mind. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We're humorous. We are. We are. So well, you all have a great weekend. Y'all money. Thank you, you for coming. Bye-bye. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Bye-bye. Well,